but you're ready to get going now. Man, I'm ready to go. It's been a year. I've been working out every day for almost a year now. Just waiting on this, man. Tip offs in less than a week. I'm ready to go. What What did you learn the most from from sitting out last year? Uh, I think patience in my game and how hard you have to work at this level. Same thing for you, Michael. I know that there were expectations that maybe you thought you would maybe get a chance to play last year, and things didn't work out that way. Did you deal with a lot of disappointment, or did you just kind of take everything in stride last year? Uh, at first. I was a little down on myself at first, but then I realized uh, that I could still contribute to the team, you know, just give it everything that you got in practice and just help make the team better so they play better on the court. What did you learn the most from sitting out? And, and but obviously you went through practices. What, what did you learn the most? Uh, I learned how aggressive it is in the Big 12. It's a, it's a different world than high school, and you just got to be a, a beast out there. Is he a beast? Yeah. Michael's a beast. <laughs> Am I a beast, Michael? Brian's a beast. <laughs> All right, then what makes each, what makes the other one a beast? What makes Brian a beast? Brian's a beast because he can create off the dribble. He's got a nice jump shot, which is always on his catch. If it goes up, you're like, man, why did I let that go up? Because nine times out of ten, it's going to be catch. Same thing. Michael Cobbins, he's the racer inside. Like, you go in there, he's beating it off the glass somewhere. Got a nice jump shot, good patience for the game, and leadership. The oh women God. were all talking about, and Coach Bucky were all talking about, what good chemistry that they feel like they have. Michael, you guys both went through last year, and at times it seemed like there was good chemistry. At times maybe everybody wasn't totally on the same page. How is that different this year? Uh, this year is different because not only do we bond on the court, but outside of the gym, we're always together, we're always hanging out, either going to the movies or going bowling or just hanging out at somebody's house just watching movies or something. We're always together. So it's, it's a great experience to have good bonding on the court. Coach, you talked about how some of the, the road losses last year came from not having team chemistry. There were some distractions. What's the difference between this year and last year? Uh, I feel like there's no – this year that there's less outside distractions and that uh, – Everybody's on the same page. We have the same goal in mind. Brian, who's the leader on this team? Who's the vocal leader on this team? I have to say Mike, actually, the vocal leader. Do you feel that way, Mike? I'd have to say Brian is sometimes, too. I mean, we have our share of leaderships. So it's, it's interesting that you say that, too, because I think I don't think anybody would mistake Keaton for, like, going to be a politician to talk like that. But but he is the one that's got the most experience, too. Yes, sir. How does he lead this team? Keaton leads the team more by example than anything else. Like he, He's vocal when he needs to be, and he does everything right on film. So if you want to know what to do, just watch Keaton pretty mm -hmm. much. So he doesn't have to say very much. Right. Just, have to. just watch. You got a little bit of size uh, in there between Phillip and Mark. Um, as you see this team on the floor, what style of basketball do you think you guys are going to play? I think we'll be able to play both ways this year. You know, we've got a lot of bigger guards, so we can go to the running game. we got bigs, too, so we can go to pound this side game, too. I think it'll depend on more who we play. What do you think, Michael? Uh, I like what Brian said. Uh, I can see us getting up and down the court as well with our big men as well, or we could uh, slow it down as well and run a good offense. But uh, with them being two bigs on the inside, it's good for protecting the paint. People that like to come in and drive, and they'll be in there to stop all that. A lot of the preseason hype has obviously surrounded LeBron. Um, give me your assessment of where he is with his game. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great kid, great kid. He's, uh, he's got a nice body on him. He's athletic, uh, good ball handling skills. He's just a good player. Definitely, but I take that like that. Use that as a chance to just work hard. Like I use that to come under the radar to work on my game, and I think I'm where, where I need to be now. So. How much does a year of sitting and watching? How much do you think it really did for you? And I'm not just talking about learning. The hunger. I mean, you guys are used to. Uh, yeah. Stars. You were both stars in high school. I mean, how how much are you just like? Let me out there. I want to Man, explode. It was a lot. 
all last year was kind of like that, like, man, what if we could just get out there again, like, back in the old days, and, like, that hunger just continued to build up every game that we were sitting there. So, just ready to get after it this year. Can you talk about how sitting may have benefited you, like you can maybe see things from a coach's perspective that you had a chance to observe? I could see where they were coming from by uh, having me red shirt. I mean, I came in there, I was small, I was frail, and <laughs> to be honest, uh, I wasn't really prepared for the Big 12 as I am right now where they got me at. And uh, I feel like they built us up well during our red shirt season. Can you give an example of how much are you able to wake up for instance compared to what you did when you first came here? Uh, <laughs> great, like, I don't know, I came in at a buck 85 and gained close to 40 pounds over the whole red shirt in season, so I feel like they did pretty good. Have you kept all that on, or have you lost a little bit of it just from all the workout? I mean, you know, up and down, <laughs> up and down a little bit, but right now it's maintaining, so I'm pretty good. I know one of the things that I, I remember watching one of the practices that they were working with you last year on getting set when you shoot from the outside, you know, maybe a little quicker trigger, you know, to get the shot off faster. What if, for each of you, I'll start with you, Michael. What are you doing better now, just from a skill set, than you were doing when you got here? I feel like I catch the ball more ready now. Like I'm more stronger with the ball, and uh, I just have patience and not always trying to be in a rush to do things and making silly mistakes. What about you, Michael? Man, my confidence with shooting the ball is through the roof. Like I came here making shots, but now nah, I shoot to make. Like I don't ever feel like I'm going to miss a shot. I mean, it happens, but I don't like it to happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to stop you from putting it up. Right. Yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Anything else? All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. No problem. Thank you.